welcome to MG Tracy. Today we're going to be doing another one of our Dyson servicing reviews. Thank you for the hundreds of comments I've had from the previous Dyson videos. I'm glad they've helped. Um, Dysons are great bits of equipment, but you do need to really know how to keep them in top working position. So today we're going to be looking at the DV6, which has a digital motor and is cordless with a motorised head. So we'll come back to it at the moment. Um, you'll find other videos that cover a lot of our Dysons on this channel. You've got the DC50 on the left there. With, uh, this is the lightweight one. Deal cyclone on the top and um, the ball at the bottom. Yes, a lot of people don't know one of Dyson's first inventions was the ball wheelbarrow. that he actually sold on to somebody else. So he's actually merged two of his ideas there with the bagless vacuum and uh, the, the ball on the bottom. So uh, here is the V6. So what you're looking at there is, obviously this is your cyclone bit. This is your, your, one of your main filters. So you can see you need to take this out about every month, give it a rinse off, and, uh, and then dry that in the sun on a radiator or something, making sure you don't damage anything. I found that's quite loose, and actually when I was putting the unit away once, it actually just sort of fell out. So make sure yours is a snug fit. This is obviously where you release the long arm with the motorised head and you can flip that over then to convert it to a handheld uh, one that would be just short that you could use for maybe a car or stairs. This is actually where your battery is here. Now this is the release valve for the bin. Again, I've knocked that off a few times and emptied the contents in the room. So when you hold on to the trigger, which is there, make sure you don't accidentally hit that because you'll find everything just vacuumed up is back on the floor and this is where the digital motor is and you see that's got a little filter in it as well there this is the other part you have this is obviously the uk version it looks very similar in the states and that's a different bit on the end so you've got a couple more attachments and basically you dock it into there uh, the, the cable comes separately just thread it through into this plastic bit this pivots up and you can fix that to the wall or just lay it down somewhere and it will charge um, you do need to leave the thing on charge all the time. Um, you get in super duper mode, turbo mode, in about six or seven minutes, normal vacuum in about 20. So every time you've finished, you've got to put the unit back on charge. So I'll show you a few of the things here now. We'll show you where the main filter is that are worth keeping an eye on to make sure that your Dyson V6 performs brilliantly. Okay, so we're looking at the motorized head here. So first of all, just push your button there and you can detach the motorised head. And you can see there, that's already some hair build up. Um, if you live in a house with pets, or um, you've got people with long hair, you're gonna find this is uh, one of the things you have to do quite a lot with this battery powered vacuum. And if you can see in there, uh, that hasn't been like that for ages. All those hairs and things, they're just trapped on there. And now one of these filaments is carbon fibre, so you've got to be really careful you don't just go in there and touch it because it gave me an allergy and it gives a lot of people an allergy. So what I tend to do with this is just get some scissors and go through and snip some of these hairs here. Uh, and then you'll find that you can pull them out. But you'll see you do get quite a lot wound around near where it's supposed to move and if you leave this to build up it really affects the machine so this is something you need to do every so often so i'll just do that i'll just finish snipping those and i'll be right back okay so i've snipped that up you can see that quite a lot of hair has come off that and if you just continue snipping through here any spare hairs obviously don't touch the brushes or the filaments and then when you reconnect it to the Dyson, hit that max button and run it for about 30 seconds, you'll find that that then pulls that all through. Okay, so the next thing uh, you can do is take the head apart and give that a good clean out every so often. I do this about every quarter. Uh, you'll find you've got this little lock here. You can just put um, a one cent coin or one P in that and twist that and you'll then find that it all then starts to come apart. So uh, I'll, I'll just take that apart show you what it looks like but just first unlock it there okay so we fully unlock that now now we can lift off this little panel 
and again you can see there's an awful lot of stuff that just gets trapped in the unit there so uh, you need to clean that all out Give me a quick bit of a service okay so you see I've cleaned it out there this is what was just stuck in there um, this can be if you happen to suck up a little bit of water, tiny little bit of water, and you'll find other things will get stuck there. Obviously, you shouldn't be hitting water, but if you suddenly hit something small, little spots of water on the kitchen floor, it will stick there, and then bits get stuck there. So, but you know, stuff does build up there as well. Uh, now, the next bit is just to take that roller out, which is the same trick here using your one cent or one p coin, and this will free up the roller. So, you just make sure there's nothing else left in the you head turn there. your coin to the unlock and then you can pull that off and then you can then get out the roller just pull that out and what you're looking for really is hair string or cotton that's really got wound around here that's getting in the way of the workings because this will just give extra friction and you can see there's a huge amount of hair that built up there and there's the inside where that fits, including the uh, drive from the motor. So I'll just give that a quick clean now and then pop that one back. Okay, so that's what was trapped there. Check this end bit here as well from this blade and make sure you've got all that off. You're then ready to uh, slot that back in and it's this end here which is going to go on to that motor there. So that's uh, just spot that back in there now, all nice and clean, and then locked it with uh, one cent, one p coin on the end. Just need to put the main cover back now, and then that's the head all ready for another three or four months. Okay, so I've clipped that cover back on now and just relocked it with my coin. Take the unit up, just give it a last little tap here, gentle tap. Make sure there's nothing else in the tube, and your, your head now with the carbon fibre filaments is all ready for action again. So I'll just reattach that to the main body of the Dyson. Okay, so I think we've, uh, everybody knows now that you're uh, put in here to open the main pod. That'll get most of what you vacuumed up out. But if you're getting build up here, then you need to remove the main cylinder and make sure that, that is clean as well. Okay, so to get the main canister on, pull down here and you'll find that you can actually release the main body and that'll come away. And here you can see another place that you tend to get built up. It also gives you access to the main drum of the machine there so that you can, uh, so you can clean that. So let's just whip that off. So now you can see the two parts, so you release the cinder. Um, you can give that a quick wipe round if you want, you shouldn't need any more than that. Uh, and then you can see there's another place here where you're getting some build up of debris that doesn't come out when you empty the drum. So maybe a microfiber cloth is the best thing for that. Give that a, a gentle wipe around. Uh, you can find that there's hairs building up on this section as well, depending on what sort of pet you've got or whatever. So you need to get those off um, and then just wipe this, wipe this down. So we'll just get that wiped with a microfiber cloth and then we can put it back together. Okay so you can see I've given those a good clean, I've used a microfiber cloth around here and I've dried it off with some paper towel just to make sure there's no moisture. The same with the drum, just need now to clip those back in. So let's clip that all back together. And when you put this in there's a little lug here, line that one up first, line up the back one, then you can just pop this and it will just gently click. You don't need any force to put that back here. If you're giving that some force then you've not quite got it lined up. But you can see it's now all spick and span and as good as new. So there you have it really, that's all that came out of my machine there, um, just with a one cent, one p coin, microfiber, some kitchen roll, and little scissors to snip those hairs away. We're back at full whack. And don't forget, you've got your max button here to uh, draw anything through that you've just been cleaning on the uh, motorized head there. So once you just give that a quick blast, that'll then just suck anything else that's got left through the machine when you've been cutting it. 
and uh, I think probably about every quarter I do this. Uh, so I hope you found that useful on how to service your Dyson V6. Now check out my other videos on how to service other Dyson machines and also have a lot of information on coffee machines and how to get the best out of those as well. So please like, share and subscribe and come back for a whole lot more here on the MG Tracy Club. Bye for now. Goodbye.